Hey there Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for November 13th through to the 16th. So let's jump on in and see what's on the cards for you. Before I do, if you wouldn't mind doing me a small favor and please do hit the like button. You might want to think about dropping me a comment and please do subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my readings. That's what really makes it sustainable to keep them coming. And also when you do connect with me in that way, uh, uh, it gives me the, the energetic connection with you to best be able to read for you and this collect. So that would be amazing. I really appreciate that and it also makes the readings more powerful and it helps me build this um, really beautiful uh, community that we are here. So um, that would be great. If you would like a personal reading or healing at any time, the first link down below will jump you over to my website. You can check out the offerings there. Uh, I also do have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you would like to get started with interpreting the cards for yourself. Or to dive deeper into learning tarot, I have a paid uh, option called the initiation and that is a more immersive online tarot journey where you'll learn a full foundation and also my signature professional reading process. So if you want to get you know started reading the cards for self, family and friends and maybe even transition into paid readings, that is your course. There's also my Karmic community, that is my free email newsletter and my Instagram account. I'm really active and interactive over there with daily content and love to share that with you if you come across. Okay, Libra. Also, your 2024 yearly tarot reading is coming in the next week or two, so please do look out for that. I'm starting your reading with a time for healing, balsamic moon. Maybe there's uh, a sigh of relief here after a struggle or challenge. Maybe things are coming into balance. You know, maybe you're, you're on a personal, you know, healing journey here also. And I think you're going to need to be in balance because the energy is gaining momentum, okay? So it feels like something is building, right? Maybe we are building into that very busy time of the end of the year. So a time for healing, maybe a last bit of grounding before this big push towards the end of the year. But the energy is gaining momentum. You know, maybe we are moving towards a new beginning here or towards an outcome or conclusion. We'll find out, Libra. Major Arcana time. So I have just the 22 big themes of the tarot here. And you are working with the moon. Okay, this is interesting because it often talks about, you know, a path that is beginning to reveal for you a little bit of divine orchestration. It can talk about, you know, undercurrents, uh, secrets, or, or sort of the hidden. A time for healing maybe you have learned about something there and now the energy is gaining momentum where things might be coming out as a result of that um, maybe you are keeping a, a secret here about maybe wanting to move in a new direction and you haven't yet communicated that maybe to a partner maybe to an employer so we'll uncover what that means but it is a deep energy of intuition and you're being asked to really trust what you're feeling at this time Libra. That's a Cancer Pisces card for me. All right, well, let's get you four cards from the right of weight. I will then be clarifying these as I read them for you. So we've got the four of wands in the situation. Okay. The four of swords in the challenge. So the fours are all about stability, foundational energy. Now, just because the moon is a card sometimes of keeping a secret doesn't mean to say it's negative. Like the four of wands can be a, a happy secret as well. Maybe even engagement or marriage for some of you. There's three of pentacles here in the advice. The energy is gaining momentum. And the ten of pentacles. Yes, yeah, so I actually have really positive energies here. So it could be that somebody's keeping a surprise something a surprise here or keeping something to themselves. We are getting closer to Christmas if you do celebrate that. And the fall, yeah, look at this. So the the stars, it's called Starseed in this deck, but it's essentially the fall with the four of wands. And this is a fresh new start to do with maybe house home, relationship here. So what I have here is that maybe we've got a relationship that's ascending to another level. You could be moving in together, getting engaged, going exclusive, maybe retiring together for some of you with the Ten of Pentacles in the reading. For others, there could even be 
conception here as well with the moon coming through adding to your family so it's very positive energy or let's say conceiving a new home buying a new home renting a better home it feels like there is some kind of happy occasion or happy milestone in terms of setting up your foundation here so i think that's gorgeous now the full ask you to take action towards that and it really is um it's an energy of taking a leap of faith as well so maybe you're needing to take a faith leap maybe you're the one asking somebody you know do you want to take this next step right maybe somebody's going to ask you okay maybe that will be very healing for you a time for healing because it's interesting that the four of swords is in the challenge and this is an energy of healing it's an energy of recovery and it comes through with the two of swords so what i'm getting here is that maybe you know you've had a a past experience with whatever the situation is that's coming that might have been triggered or that might actually come up when you're sort of faced with this again even if it's what you want and it feels very positive so it feels like you might need to just to take a pause to work through that two of swords you've got a decision to make here it feels like a happy decision but you do need to weigh up your options i do see the three of swords in this card libra so it feels like you are maybe still processing a past hurt here or a disappointment or setback you know maybe there has been a setback in this goal or the timing of this goal but remember the moon talks about hidden blessings and we have to come back to the trust that everything is working out as it's meant to the energy is gaining momentum and I think that you know soon that outcome that you're wanting I mean ten of pentacles is coming is is there for you okay and it might even be traveling to see family for the holiday period as well for others you know, look at that wheel of fortune with the three of pentacles I always say that the three of pentacles is like the physical representation of the empress in the tarot and the empress is birthing something that's been on your heart like i said whether it's actually birthing a child or the next phase of a relationship or home or next level of abundance for some of you maybe maybe business as well that then allows you to achieve other goals in your life so the wheel of fortune is turning to bring you the solid representation of what you've been hoping for the energy is gaining momentum because the wheel of fortune wants to bring expansion it wants to bring you the abundance if you work with that energy and i just get the feeling with you know the wheel of fortune which is number 10 in the major arcana libra the ten of pentacles here which we have in your outcome that you know we're actually moving into your next significant cycle and maybe there are, you know, elements of the past to leave behind here. Maybe you are closing another door as part of this, like leaving behind one home to move into the other. There can be memories there. It can be bittersweet, you know, leaving behind a chapter where you are in single independence to live with a partner. Like we want these changes, but there's always, uh, you know, like a double-edged sword a lot of the time. But the Wheel of Fortune brings positive expansion and... The Three of Pentacles sort of talks about the right collaboration of timing, um, you know, ingredients, resources, people coming together for this really positive shift. And positive it is with the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful energy of abundance, family, like long long term security and stability. And it comes through with the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. It's the energy of mother or a very nurturing uh, a nurturing environment here so I just have the strong message of an emotional new beginning house home relationship adding to family time with extended family and there's some kind of milestone towards that in the weeks around this reading now, I've got fours coming through it could be within the next four weeks for some of you and the Ten of Pentacles really feels like a, a, a very grounding, family, you know, abundant atmosphere for you. So it's a time for healing. Maybe you had a, a loss or a disappointment before you got to this stage. 
but here it is happening and this is really resonating with me with the Gemini reading that I've just done and I, I don't know if you've noticed this Libra but there's always so much crossover between the Libra and Gemini readings and many of you do point that out to me and it's happening again here so you might want to check that one out as well especially if you're dealing with a Gemini or got strong Gemini here in your chart. You are being asked to stay emotionally grounded, focused at this time and trust that this emotional new beginning will be yours and I just feel like it opens up with that Wheel of Fortune which also was in the Gemini reading. It just opens up this new, spot, new cycle uh, in your life and it could be like your next significant decade cycle. Like you might spend a decade in this new home or you know this is bringing you into a whole new phase or chapter. So Libra, I will close this out with a Divine Abundance Oracle card for you. It's like absolutely jumping out and it says receiving. Wow. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. So it feels like you are receiving the next stage of your divine life plan. That's what I believe, Libra. I believe that, you know, we do come in here with a plan for our life with the key events that we are you know meant to to experience but we come down here we're given free will we forget our plan and part of the your life journey and life purpose is finding the doors to open and finding the right people to connect with and relate with and I just feel that you know you're being moved towards the next significant part of your plan which is going to open up your next 10 year journey so that's a beautiful energy. Get ready to receive. Ten of Pentacles, you know, receiving big. Some kind of long game here that is highly abundant for you. So I'm going to leave it there, Libra, and I'm going to wish you the very best with this energy. If you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.